Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything going on in USL League One, one of the most competitive leagues in soccer. Still is that, no doubt about it, top to bottom, and will be for an entire season, just getting past the halfway point. We've got some news in Spokane. We have a name of the franchise in Spokane. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Uh, we had pieces of history involving wins on the road for the first time ever, had some comebacks. We'll get into all of that coming up in just a little bit. But as we always do, let's go backward in USL League One before we go forward in USL League One, and we can lay everything out for you the past seven days and get you ready for the next seven days. Last Wednesday at American Legion, Charlotte Independence knocked off Greenville Triumph in the Carolinas Derby by the final of 1-0. But then that piece of history I was talking about, Central Valley Fuego gets their first win in Charlotte on the quick turn. Uh, game took a lot out of Charlotte. Central Valley Fuego comes on the road, gets the win 2-1 at American Legion Memorial Stadium. Quality win for Central Valley from the bottom of the table. Lex SC at Toyota Stadium shuts out Union Omaha. Another surprise by the final of 3-0. And our match of the week was at Regal Soccer Stadium. The Smoky Mountain Smackdown. One Knox and Chattanooga Red Wolves. Five-goal thriller. Here's your highlights. Courtesy of our friends at USL League One, ESPN Plus, and YouTube. Chattanooga won the first meeting. Knoxville won the second meeting. Here we go. Meeting number three in 2023 of the Smoky Mountain Smackdown. Calixtro tracks after it. Calixtro pops it centrally. It found the head of Danny Fernandez, who scored his first pro goal last match. Left back. As Kraft gives it away, it's O'Hearn who scoops it up. O'Hearn somehow stays on it. Calixtro now, one of the newcomers. Calixtro rolls it centrally back to Villalobos. And he scores against his former club. Jimmy Villalobos. Calixtro. Found the foot of Keegan, who knocks it right back to Villalobos. Edge of the 18, and just a gorgeous strike as he buries one against his former club. Cheer on, it's Kelly. Edge of the 18, Villalobos has one already! A screamer is just off target. Is Illich. Illich, oh, the back heel finds Kelly. Taps it back, a strike from Villalobos. Clears the crossbar. Keegan lets it roll through. Calixtro chops ahead. Illich off target. Here's Marsh. What a brace last week. And Marsh goes down and a free kick has been awarded. And it's more than just a free kick. A card has been shown. It's Kraft and Marsh. Kraft takes it. He does test wrinkles and he finds success. A smashing strike in the Smoky Mountain Smackdown. Riley Kraft, that is special. That is special. Riley Kraft just scored that scorcher from the corner flag now. Elevated ball, back post! Mile high service from Kraft. And Cardona. Here is Malefi. Hernandez lifts it. Gomez heads centrally. Swinkles. Skelton risky to clear it centrally like that. But it does pay off as Kelly races into space. Has a runner on his right. It's Linehols. Linehols is feed. Last meeting, he's done it again. 
His fingerprints all over the Smoky Mountain Smackdown. And it's 2-1-1 Knoxville. Against the run of play, one Knoxville, beautiful counter. Kelly kick-started it. The cross from Leinholz as he finds Johnson. Here's Kelly, looking to add to the edge. Frank Ross now. Options to cross to. Ross's ball! Ross, acres of space to work with. Skipped one through. His second goal of the season, both against the rivals. And surely a card. Gomez, here he is once again. Through for Marsh. Marsh looking to equalize. Marsh goes down. And a point to the spot. Gomez, really nice ball. Marsh goes down. Marsh to equalize in this rivalry matchup. Clinical. Siobhan Marsh. Calm from the spot. Made it look effortless. Swinkles gets the wrong direction. Looking for a first road point of the season. And to snap a six match winless streak. There's Gomez. Drives one across. Gomez fights Marsh for the lead. Yes! Chattanooga Red Wolves. A remarkable rally. It's Siobhan Marsh back to back matches with a brace. He is down to the ground. He was just motioning to get subbed off. Johnson lifts one across towards Ross. Knocked away by Jerez in line holes. And as Malongo turns into space, finds Guadarrama. Gomez now. Gomez turned away by Swinkles. A great save off the strike from Malongo. The quarter flag remained attack minded. As Gomez. See here, trying to create something. He's been a master distributor today. Villalobos, take it off of it. It's Gomez. Races ahead. Central, Malongo. No, Swinkles the save. There is still life for one Knoxville. An absolute classic. An absolute thriller. Big win for Chattanooga down at the bottom of the table as well, seeing them try to work their way back into the discussion for the playoff picture. The Peach States Derby at Optum Sports Medicine Field in Tormenta Stadium. Greenville Triumph leave uh, South Georgia Tormenta with a 2-1 win. They had a 2-0 lead on uh, Leo Torres's brace, or Leo, uh, Leo Castro's brace, in the 4th and the 25th. So 25 minutes in, it was 2-0. Mateus Cassini scores with 24 to go in the 66th minute to make it 2-1. Unfortunately, South Georgia Tormenta could not get any closer. Greenville wins, but the trophy for the Peach States Derby stays in Statesboro. South Georgia Tormenta loses, gets the trophy. Greenville wants full, Greenville got full points with Mario Maric in the middle, and your final score was 2-1. Also, Northern Colorado Hailstorm continuing all of their Winning ways at the top of USL League One. Three one winners over the Richmond Kickers. Kickers on the road. And in front of just over 1,500, it was an own goal in the 17th that got things started, but then Hailstorm poured it on in the second half. 50th, 72nd, and 83rd. And that was the win for the Hailstorm. Hailstorm gets full points at Future Legends by the final of three to one. So that sets up your standings and how things are, and how tight are they? Well, we'll tell you.
Northern Colorado trying to distance themselves. But the thing is, Northern Colorado has matches in hand. They've only played 16 matches this year, and they got 35 points. They're unbeaten in their last five, but they've only lost once in regulation this year. It's just 10, 1, and 5 so far. Charlotte's at 30 points. They had their three-match unbeaten string snapped with the loss last time out to Central Valley. Ford Madison is at 29 points. Greenville is at 28. They've won four of their last five. And they're also ahead of North Carolina FC on goal difference. They have the same number of wins at eight. North Carolina, though, has two matches in hand. Keep an eye on that. North Carolina FC, three draws and a win in their last four. Union Omaha's at 25 points. They've lost two of three, but they would be in the final playoff spot right now if the playoffs started today. Richmond at 25 points behind on goal difference. They have played one more match than Union Omaha. They have also lost two of three. One Knox has now lost four in a row. They have plummeted out of the playoff picture after 20 matches, 22 points. South Georgia Tormenta has matches in hand. They've only played 17, had their two-match win streak snapped with the loss to Greenville in Statesboro on the weekend. Lex SC had their four-match losing streak snapped with the win last time out. They're at 17 points in 18 matches. Central Valley's now won two in a row. They're at 16, and Chattanooga Red Wolves, they're behind Central Valley in wins and in goal difference. They had their four-match uh, winless run uh, snapped with the win last time out to come from behind win at one Knox. So they're at 16 points with a goal difference of minus 16. Uh, the Red Wolves have also added Jonathan Felipe on loan from Hartford as an attacking midfielder for the second half of the campaign. So we'll keep an eye on that and how that uh, orients itself with uh, interim head coach Jimmy Weekly. News out of Spokane. We now know who we're talking about when it comes to Spokane. Spokane Velocity FC. Their branding was, event it was uh, officially unveiled this past week. And a stylized nod to the Monroe Street Bridge with a uh, top four, ascend, uh, de four descending water blades is the, the logo now on form for Spokane Velocity and ownership group uh, Aquas Sports LLC. It was an event last Friday night as they get ready for the 2024 League One season at the new One Spokane Stadium. Velocity is a stylized nod to the Monroe Street Bridge, waterfalls in and around downtown Spokane and Riverfront Park. So it is now Spokane Velocity, and you can click on their uh, welcoming video for Spokane and getting Velocity online. You can go to SpokaneVelocityFC.com and follow everything going on as they get ready for 2024. You can also follow along on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Once again, SpokaneVelocityFC.com. So we'll keep an eye on everything going on in, in uh, Spokane with the Velocity very, very cool stuff now that they are that one step closer to uh, getting online as a franchise in 2024. Don't forget, be a part of everything through the social media directory in USL and USL League One on Facebook, on the Bird app, and on Instagram. You can follow along everything going on there with, uh, within uh, USL League One. And also going to USLLeagueONE.com, you can click on the Fan Zone section on the banner and see how uh, the supporters are really part of the fabric when it comes to uh, USL League One. So that sets up how things are when it comes to the schedule for this weekend and looking at how things are laid out in League One. There is some midweek action and there is uh, some weekend action as well. On the midweek action, there are two matches that are at 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. And those matches at Breeze Stevens Wednesday night, South Georgia Tormenta travels to take on forward Madison. Northern Colorado Hailstorm travel across the planet to take on North Carolina FC at Wake Med. Juice boxes do exist on those matchups. Uh, forward Madison's a plus 110 at home draw and for Tormenta to win pretty much both in and around plus 230. North Carolina is a plus 183 with the division leading with the uh, League leading a hailstorm coming to town at a plus 135. Your draw is a plus 231 as well. Weekend schedule, as always, traditionally very, very busy. It is six matches to end the month of July. Seven o'clock at American Legion, Charlotte hosting Hailstorm. Seven o'clock in Lexington, Lex SC hosting Richmond Kickers. 
7.30 at CHI Memorial, North Carolina FC and Red Wolves. 8 o'clock at Breeze Stevens, Forward Madison and Greenville Triumph. 8 o'clock at Werner Park, Papillon, Nebraska. The road trip continues for Tormenta, going from Breeze Stevens and Madison, going from Madison to Omaha to take on the Murder Owls at 8 o'clock Eastern. Then at 10.30 at Fresno State Soccer Stadium, Central Valley Fuego is hosting one Knox, And so that is your rundown of everything going on in USL League One. If you are in market and can't attend, please do so. One of the tightest leagues in all of soccer, and you get to see firsthand why that is in fact the case. If you cannot and you are still in town, follow along on your local providers. If you're out of town and want to follow along, go to ESPN Plus. All the matchups all season long are tied into ESPN Plus and USL League One, so you can keep up to date with the uh, one of the most competitive leagues around in USL League One, who's in the playoff picture will probably change again as we come back to you again this time next week. So for everybody here at SDH, that's your rundown of everything going on in USL League One. I'm just John. Play safe, everybody. Enjoy the game. There can be only one! 